All right, you guys, we have a familiar face, obviously. We have Miss Melanie Moore, the winner of y'all season eight, yeah. two seasons ago. We're getting to the... This is what I want to ask you before anything. You've been in this process. You've been here when there's only two episodes left. You're the top two. Tell me, if you could, what you think is going on in the dancers' heads, because you've been here before. Right. Um, well, there's definitely the... Um the like measuring yourself up against your competitor, um, which is always hard, and you try and you totally try and stay away from that. I mean, you don't want to ever be like, okay, well, she has this and I don't have that, or she has this and I don't have that, but I have this and she doesn't have that. Yeah. There's, there's some of that going through your head, but you're totally trying not to do that. But I mean, I think as a competitor and with that competition mentality, yeah. you're trying to figure out whatever you can do to get like the edge up in the competition. Um, and they actually don't have a day off this week, they start wow. dancing tomorrow, and oh they're going to have to learn six routines next week um, and I know how that was <laughs> it's crazy yeah. and it's just literally like you start dancing at the some of the call times are at 6 a.m. Yeah. like even because even this week are like my all-star call times is 6 30 yeah they start dancing at 6 a.m. and they don't get done until literally about 10 45 11 o'clock at night um, it's literally like it is a process and and they're gonna have to mentally prepare themselves and yeah. they're gonna have to prepare their bodies because it's a lot how did you stay from psyching yourself out because you could seriously not maybe not even against your competitor but just like the title of winning a national right. Fox television show right. I mean you can definitely make yourself psyched out so how did you make sure you were constantly like about the dancing and doing your best and not psyching yourself up to you know to make yourself drop well I think that that started for me early on in the competition because in in the competition I was told a lot like oh you're the front runner and and things like that and then I think maybe like the first two weeks I was checking like Twitter and I was checking like those yeah. blogs and things like that and and there were so many people that really liked me but then there was also so many people that were like such haters and like really didn't like me and so I would seg myself out and be like oh my gosh they don't like my smile or they don't like yeah. my voice or things like that so you really um, you know, it's it's something that you you can't look at the blogs, you can't look at what other people are saying, and you can't look at oh I've been the front runner in this competition the whole time, or I've been behind in the competition the whole time. You have to be like, you know what? I'm just going in there. I have six dances, and the only thing I can do is do my best and try and show America why I'm still here and why I deserve to win. Yeah. Because if you allow them to get in your head, you're done. Best piece of advice I've ever heard. We've done a lot of you know press behind multitude of TV shows, and I, I mean I'm not a, ever been on a show, but that's the one thing I wanted tell every contestants because you get, you can see nine million people saying they love you and you see that one post that says they can't dance they have a funny haircut they look small they smell and then suddenly it gets in your head and it's just like ah so that hopefully yeah. they won't go mo moving forward won't be doing that yeah I mean I think that the internet is such a great thing and, and all of the social media is such a great thing because you can connect with people who really love you and who are huge fans but then it's such a negative thing because I, like, I don't need to know that you don't like my haircut. I yeah. don't need to know that you think my voice is too high-pitched. I really don't need to know that you think I look Asian when I smile. Like, <laughs> I don't need to know those things. Yeah. Um, because then I'm like, oh my god, should I like try and open my eyes yeah, when I smile? Or should I? Like, because that's not who I am. And yeah. I, I, the social media and the internet is so amazing in, in the way that it allows you to connect. But if you allow yourself to get carried away, you can really be like taken on this like yeah. journey. And, and it's not good for you. It's especially on a reality TV show where yeah. you're trying to make people love you. <laughs> yeah. Now, your season, um, obviously, you guys have to watch your diet and your, you know, what you did. What was, like, the first thing you did when you got off? Did you go somewhere and, like, eat crazy or did you, like, stay up and not sleep? Like, what was kind of the thing that you weren't allowed to do on the show that you did first when you got off? I slept. You slept a lot. That's what I did. That's what everybody because, keeps saying. Yes, yeah. because you have to, I mean, there's, not, like, you can you can diet and you can do those things when, when you're on the show, but for, for real, it's like, you don't sleep. Like, yeah. you you do not sleep because you're just like you get home and it's like 11:30 at night and you're just like okay well I need to eat but like it's so late to eat but I'm kind of hungry but you know like I really need to practice my dances and yeah. and so you kind of are psyching yourself out and there's those early call times and and you, so you're eating at least because your body doesn't make it through the day if you're not eating yeah. but man sleeping that's what I did a lot of just like lazing around I just like <laughs> laid around I think for at least like four or five days I'm surprised you didn't wake up like a week after at like 5 30 in the morning and be like oh my god I gotta go oh never mind <laughs> like it's called time I got a date 
hands. <laughs> um, who, which of the four have you worked with, danced with? I have worked with both boys. Both boys, yeah, because yeah. they haven't done a girl girl. I don't mm -hmm. think so. No. Nope. Okay, so working with both boys, I mean, do you obviously you're not gonna say which one you like better, but which one do you think? All right, like, what do you see in both of them that you think could be the the secret ingredient that gets them to be America's favorite dancer? I think that both of them have distinct personalities, and I think that um, in Aaron's case, he is an underdog. Yeah. Literally, he's an underdog. Yeah. Uh, he didn't even make the top 20. He was number 21, and he got put in when somebody got injured. Um, and so people love an underdog. They love that. And and he is kind of like a fan favorite, but they're on the other side of that, Fiction is also a fan favorite. He yeah, has excelled in everything, and he's not really a trained dancer. You know, I'm, he has his own style. He's a street dancer. And um, so he has excelled and excelled and excelled, and... Um, it's kind of, which is kind of unheard of. So I think that they both have these big personalities and big hearts that have really come out. And it's really, I think that people love their personalities so much that it's really going to be about the dancing next week yeah. because it's going to be a tear of like my heart because I love both of them. I've yeah. danced with both of them. I've seen both sides of it, but you know, you like, oh, it's hard. It's yeah. just hard. It's hard. I, I'm glad I don't have to vote. Well, I'm glad you talked with us because I feel like you were able to kind of give us like, you know, none of us can ever experience what you guys have experienced unless you're an amazing dancer and auditioning for season 11. So it, I feel like I know more like what they're going through, what they can and cannot do. But to take us out, um, I, I need to do this first of all I have never seen someone make like this kind of dress thing look so good because usually it's like there's no like middle so you look boom you look amazing but if my videographer can get your legs because your legs are insane I told her when she first walked up she has the most amazing legs I've ever seen on a person thank you no they're very high percentage yes all right Miss Melanie Moore modeling it out for us all right you guys she was one of your favorites she won season eight and she's gonna be here alongside us to see who wins season 10 I'll do it I'm watching all right, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much.